everyone, this is Reverend Prophetess Lady Wisdom, also known as the Prophet of the Christ. Again, with Christian Gifts, the Psychics, Willy Witches Chapel. So it's a little bit dark outside, um, so you can see me a lot better now. Um, so it is uh, still July the 6th, 2019, and it's around 9.09 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So what I wanted to do was talk to you guys about psychic vampires. Um, also, how to deal with them, and also what to do when you encounter them. And also how to protect yourself as well. So, okay, so psychic vampires, what they are, they are people, human beings, of course. Um, so a psychic vampire is someone who, whether they're doing it intentionally or whether or not is indirectly or unintentionally, they're someone who uh, they suck the life out of you and they drain your energy. So they are someone who you would encounter um, once you encounter them, you will know if it's a psychic vampire. You will feel completely depleted, tired. Maybe you feel like binge eating, binge drinking. Um, you feel hopeless. You may be, feel depressed. You may feel stressed. Um, you may feel annoyed. You can feel angry. Um, you just feel completely just worthless after you deal with this person. So I'm going to um, tell you about some types of um, psychic vampires. Okay, you... You can and you can encounter a psychic vampire. Um, you can encounter them at work. You can encounter them at home. It could be your husband. It can be your wife. It could be your friend. It could be your mom. It could be your dad. It can be your coworker. It can be anybody. Now, um, some psychic vampires they are the narcissistic type of vampires. They're very aggressive, and the world revolves around them. And when you speak to them, they you feel that type of aggression. And once you get done speaking with them, you feel it you feel drained you feel stressed now you may start um you may start uh becoming them you may start in other words you may start uh acting out acting aggressive yourself especially if that's not even in your cap character um also you get the psychic vampires those are the drama queen psychic vampires the ones where uh Every time you turn around, there's always something going on with them. They always have it, some type of encounter with someone, meaning it's, uh, it's always the other person's fault. They just have a lot of nonsense going on, a lot of chaos in their life. Every time you speak with them, they're on the phone with you for hours at a time. They keep texting you, going on and on and on about drama, just foolishness. And the minute you get off the phone or the minute you get done texting with them, now you feel a bunch of drama. Now you have... A lot of rage or you can have anxiety and things like that as soon as you get as soon as you encounter that person um another type of psychic vampire you can encounter is someone that plays victim all the time uh those psychic vampires are someone where there's always someone wrong them they're never in a the wrong there's always somebody against them there's always somebody out to get them it's they they always play victim. So, and usually when you get done encountering that type of psychic vampire, now all of a sudden you feel like you're a victim. So, in other words, uh, you start to mimic their type of behavior. So, now I'm going to give you some quick tips on what to do when you encounter. Because some, somewhere in your life, you're going to encounter them. So, there's no way um, to avoid them. Now, a way to protect yourself from them. Say if you are dealing with a psychic vampire. Well, let's just say if it's your husband or your wife. Um, you realize she is like a vampire. A way what you can do to deal with her since that's your wife. You have to come home to her. You have to deal with her. That's your spouse. So um, you can um, you can uh, let her know or try to calm her down the best way you can. But when she starts getting into that uh, victim or whatever type of psychic vampire she is, you want to try your best to let her know you're not interested in that part of the conversation um or you could try even tuning it out as well and let her continue to rant and rave or whatever it is if she's um feeling victim or playing victim and making you feel stressed you can also try letting her know about it bringing her to her bringing it to her attention that way she can try to stop it now another way you can also try um different crystals you can try um like crystal quartz. Um, you can also try praying. You can also try meditating. You also can try a lot of a variety of different things. Now, uh, when you're at work and when it's easier 
when you are able to um, avoid a psychic vampire at work because those are the ones that's easiest to try to get them away because when you um, one thing you want to do whenever you're encountering a psychic vampire you don't want to give them direct eye contact like if it's someone at your job who's really narcissistic a narcissistic type of uh, psychic vampire you want to kind of look down try to give him short answers if he's going on and on about um um he's the best one for the job and all this type of stuff you just want to kind of say mm -hmm, yeah i'm really busy or try to just kind of blow him off a little bit but make sure you do it in a very professional way because you don't want to do something that's going to aggravate him even more so um and also even your body posture determines if you want to deal with them or not even try it like this um also basically just saying i'm busy i'm busy i'm busy that also kind of gives uh those type of people um a way to know that you're not interested in a conversation where they uh, limit the conversation now um unfortunately like i said the worst type of psychic like vampire is someone that you live with now those like since you live with them it's not no way of going around that but the best way you can do it is to try to redirect the conversation that's a good way to try to um limit the type of psychic vampire because if that's your wife then yeah you could just try to redirect the conversation and try to turn turn her you know turn the conversation from a negative into a positive um to try to just go around it um but as far as um when you have encountered a psychic vampire the best way for you to do try to go home and take a shower try to pray about it um try to get that energy um off you know trying to revamp yourself and treating yourself and if you find yourself binge eating or suffering from depression and things like that because you dealt with that psychic vampire um like i said the best way um is to um try to pray um also try to meditate also going running um also going walking um just try to do something always keep yourself active when it when you encounter a psychic vampire but most just try to keep yourself clear-headed because that's the main thing that you want to do because a psychic vampire their whole aim or whether like i said whether or not it's intentional or not but what's going to happen is they're going to actually kind of suck their life force and make you really really stressed and you're angry and you're just going off so like i said just try your best to avoid them or try to protect yourself from a psychic vampire so i would like to thank you guys very much for watching and i'm sorry if this video went a little bit long i didn't expect it to go that long but thank you guys very much for watching and make it a blessed weekend deuces